Hey everyone, this is Justin from Level Up Lunch. If you are new to Spring Boot, auto configuration classes are the smart classes that attempt to look at your class path and enable features or beans. For instance, if you want to enable a metric with an actuator, the metric filter auto configuration would do this for you. The Spring Boot folks try to do things right with auto configurations, but there may be cases where you want to determine what is turned on or figure out where it has failed. Currently, there are three different ways to determine which auto configuration classes have been enabled. We created a sample project that has two dependency. One is the Spring Boot uh, Starter Actuator artifact, and then the second is the Spring Boot Starter Web project. We haven't changed anything from the base project or the base application configuration that's created. So if we go ahead and run this, you'll see in the output that um, Spring Actuator already provides a way to look at the endpoint. And one of those endpoints is called the um, Auto Config. So if we navigate to, in our browser, Auto Config, we'll see the beans. So let's go ahead and do that. We switched over to Chrome, and if you navigate to localhost 8080 Auto Config, you'll see all of the auto configurations that have been enabled. So you'll see positive matches, and the second node it creates is negative matches, so ones that haven't been enabled. And there's, there's quite a few that are there. The second way is to add a uh, dash debug to your system properties. And if you're running this locally um, within, within a IDE, you can do that by doing run as and go to your run configurations. And then in your arguments, uh, in your VM arguments, let's scroll down here and we will add a dash D debug and we'll apply and let's go ahead and run that and you'll see there is actually an auto configuration report that's given to us in the output so if we scroll up all the way up there's an auto configuration report and it shows the same thing we saw with the actuator the positive matches the ones that have been turned on and then also the ones that have been uh, turned off, so the negative matches. The third way would be to add the dash dash debug to the command line. So let's go ahead and try that. If we go into right click and we'll do run as, run configurations, and go into our arguments again and we'll remove the last dash dash debug. And then in our program arguments we'll just do dash dash debug. And this should also work in your Maven command line as well. So if we run this, we should see the same report in the console as we did before, where we'll see the auto configuration report. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.